In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fill and stroke in Inkscape. So basically, the fill and stroke are the way that you manipulate the colors in Inkscape, right? So you have the fill and you have the stroke. So the fill is this color on the inside, as you can see me changing that now. And the stroke is this color on the outside, as you can see me changing that now. To remove one of these colors, you just click on the X button here that says no paint and as you can see that the stroke is gone let's focus on the fill first so for the fill we have flat color and coming here we can have a linear gradient that's basically we can have a gradient like this and as you can see the first one you can adjust it from up here too and if the second one is always going to be transparent so you can either reduce the transparency by putting it here and changing the color of that or you could basically just leave it at that <clears throat> and then we now have the radial gradient the radial gradient focuses on making it making it round in a way so that's what it does and you can edit that from there and same as you can also increase the number of points here say we have this point and we want to make it this color so you see we now have three layers and you can add as many layers as you want between that and cancel all that and then we're going to go to the mesh gradient the mesh gradient is kind of uh, complicated see you can uh, check out other videos on that which I will make in the nearest future we'll be focusing on that in this video and then we can go to patterns all right so there are different sets of patterns in Inkscape and as you can see here they are so you can use that so you see this is like a uh, 3d box kind of pattern and you have other patterns there right it's awesome so you have this pattern here and uh, Inkscape provides that for you so you can use that to do what coming to the stroke basically the stroke has everything same for the fill you have the flat color the linear gradient the radial gradient the mesh gradient the patterns and the swatch and then coming to the strokes there so basically the stroke style is where you adjust the stroke if you've been asking so the stroke you, you might want to adjust the width of the stroke you see it's a little bit thin now but if I want to increase that I can put it on five millimeters and that's done for us and you notice this round corners here right like let me change the color of the strokes to sharp all right see you notice this round corners here right it's because of this join here see if I put a bevel join you see everything just straight and if I put a meter join everything will just happen to be straight like a sharp box so we always want to convey some kind of softness with our designs we usually allow it on this by default and then the dashes you can change the style of the dashes the pattern of the dashes say you want a dotted line you can do this and uh, you can change the pattern from here this number 16 you can change it to any number and then you have different patterns here to try out it's not looking good because i have increased the width too much so when experimenting you can reduce that and then the markers are for the three main edges that are here so this is the beginning this is the middle and this is the end i will show you this on another kind of line say i draw a line here using the bezier tool all right so i want an arrow at one head at the beginning you can see that that still it's too big because i have increased the width too much all right and we can create another one at this end so as you can see that's what we have now and you can basically do that for any other object that you create using the Bezier tool that is a stroke or anything that is a stroke in general so basically we have that and uh, if I were to come now draw another line all right so you'll notice that this top here is kind of round like let me put the dashes to normal you notice that this top here is round that is because of the cap the cap of it is round so if we wanted a butt cap we would simply just click here and if we wanted a square cap we would do this so it's not really much difference between these two but you can use whatever you want and this one is what we want most 
so you have now learned how to use the fill and stroke in Inkscape and you should be able to use it efficiently with your design and thanks for watching I hope you got value from this video if you did please subscribe to my channel to get more content like this